am here with Ken O'Keefe and um, I'm going to ask him a simple question or not so simple. Fairly simple. Ken, why are we in war? Well, the simple answer to that question is that uh, if, if, there, if there is any prerequisite for a tiny, tiny, tiny minority to rule over the rest of us, it is that they must divide the people. If the people aren't divided, then they will come together and they will recognize the real foe, the real problem. So there's a couple of things, if you ask me, that are absolutely inherent in a tiny minority being able to control masses as they do. One, you need to divide them. The other one is you need, you need to maintain a tight grip on the control of information. They fucked that up when they allowed the internet. Now there are those who will say, oh no, it's all part of the plan and, and it's part of the design and you know, da 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 da. Even if that be the case, even if somebody wants to make the argument that, well, you know, the internet is all part of the manipulation, it's all part of the end game and so on and so forth, I again say they fucked it up. Because when you allow people to have access to information, information is power. So they failed on that front because they're not controlling the information. Despite the fact that we don't know a lot, they do not. They do not have control of the information. And the other thing that's happening is, as I've said, while people are being pitted against each other on every sort of level, more and more people coming into information, knowledge, and power such as we are all one. We are all brothers and sisters. And while I'm not happy with the actions of many of my brothers and sisters, they remain my brothers and sisters. And if my brothers and sisters can come to a sane way of thinking, trust me, those of us, the rest of us, we don't want this bullshit. We don't want war. We don't want this. We have to be manipulated into it over and over and over. But as an example of one of the powers of, of information, false flags. If you ask people 15 years ago, no problem. It Don't keeps worry. running out. I'm and so I'm sorry. Oh no, your battery is gone. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, hey, that's great. You got it Keep that going. Way. If you if you ask people about a false flag, what's a false flag? 15 years ago, almost zero people would have known what that is. We don't know about false flags. Well, in the rest of the world, I can tell you, especially in places in the U.S., in, the US, yeah. in, in England, and in, in most of Europe. I mean, you ask people what a false flag is, they know what that is. That is the primary method of manipulating us into war. So when that tactic is exposed, any other future false flag that you do now comes under the scrutiny of people who previously didn't even know what that was, much less start looking at what actually happened. So that's just one example of the power of information. And we have access to that now, so it really is up to us. If we want a better world, let's stop acting like idiots and being pitted against each other while the assholes at the top of the pyramid are sitting up there fucking smoking their cigars laughing at us. Let's have a laugh at those motherfuckers, and when it comes time to us exerting our power, let's hang them up by a fucking lamppost and put that's what they need. But I would prefer that my brothers and sisters sitting up there at the top realize the error of their ways, force the truth, and be confronted with the humanity that exists. And when we, when we see that for what it is, whether we decide to give them mercy or not, I don't know. That's not up to me. If it's up to me, I will give mercy. But I can't speak for my Palestinian brothers and sisters, my Syrian brothers and sisters, my African brothers and sisters, and all the people around the world who have been violated in the most obscene of ways. That's up to them. It's not up to me. I don't know what they're going to do, but quite frankly, if these bastards are seen for what they are, I wouldn't expect mercy if I were them. But anyway, I'm not a vengeful guy. I don't want that. I want a better world. I want to live in a sane world. I want my children to have a future. So they pit us against each other. That's the whole point of war. Indeed. Amen. This is Ken. Peace, yeah. truth, Thank you. justice, peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.